The youngest Jonas brother, Frankie Jonas, just opened up about his mental health and said he contemplated suicide before getting sober. Let's get into it. Jonas Brothers fans know that Nick, Joe and Kevin aren't the only Jonas offspring. The Joe Bros have a younger brother named Frankie who's 20 years old and isn't part of the Jonas Brothers band. Over the years, Frankie has forged his own path as both a child actor, a musician, and he's currently in college. But over the past couple of years, he's also completely blown up on TikTok and has nearly 2 million followers. On his page, he posts everything from comedy videos to challenges to funny pranks he pulls on his brothers. But Frankie has also gotten real with fans on the platform about issues like mental health, including his own struggles. Before we dive into everything Frankie said, I just wanted to issue a trigger warning that we will be discussing heavy topics like substance abuse abuse and suicidal ideation, so please only continue watching if you feel comfortable and safe doing so. Early Monday morning, Frankie responded to a fan who asked him about his sobriety and how he overcame his drug abuse he'd mentioned in another TikTok. Frankie hopped on camera and explained that this isn't how he originally imagined addressing this situation, and he hopes to give a more serious, lengthy explanation one day. But he did reveal that he struggled with substance abuse starting at a young age. However, from a very young age, I struggled with drinking and drugging as an escape because I hated life and I didn't want to be here. Fans who've been following Frankie for a while now know that when he was 16 years old, he faced some trouble with the law for possession of marijuana. In his recent TikTok, Frankie went on and explained that eventually his mental health got to such a bad place that he contemplated taking his own life. I eventually, after many years of trying to kill myself accidentally, came to a point where I was going to do it for real. And something intervened and my life was saved. Frankie shared with fans what helped him come out of his dark time and get sober. And I went to treatment and it saved me. He continued on and shared how grateful he is to be alive and how thankful he is for treatment because it saved his life. Frankie said, quote, I couldn't be more grateful for the fact that I'm alive today because my world has changed so beautifully and so astronomically and I'm not that person anymore. I couldn't be more grateful for the fact that I'm alive today. And we truly couldn't be happier as well. It takes a lot to share this kind of personal information and we wanted to thank Frankie for his bravery and vulnerability. Fans are thanking him in the comments of his post. One person wrote, Frankie, I love you and I'm so happy you're here. Another wrote, it takes a lot to share this. Glad you're still here. This fan said, in awe of and inspired by your vulnerability and authenticity, you are making this world a brighter place. And this person candidly wrote, as someone who also struggles with this, thanks for sharing your story. And Frankie is only just getting started. Earlier this month, he shared that he's a year and a half sober. I've been sober for a year and a half. Um, it's like one of the biggest blessings and most incredible and hardest journeys of my life. He is continuing to use his platform to help others who are struggling and give tips for getting sober like acceptance, finding a support group and leaning on the people around you. This is great advice and we will link resources down in the description below in case you or anyone you know needs them. But for now, if you want more on the Jonas Brothers, click right over here for another clever video. Then feel free to drop Frankie some love in the comment section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on Instagram at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.